Hello. So, it is time for week one of SPS Season 7. Honestly, still shocked I'm here. But, we've got our first opponent in Lemon. And oh boy, do they have a team. They've got Goldengo, Meowskarada, Ariyama, Atarine, Rotom Wash, Talonflame, Haxorus, Clodsire, and Grafiai. This is such a balanced team. But well, thankfully, it's only 9 Mons. They've got the fast with Talonflame, Meowskarada, and Grafiai with Interruption. They've got the slow with the Hariyama and Hatterene. They've kind of got the balanced stuff with Goldengo and Rotom Wash. Hatterus can kind of be thrown more into the fast mode than the slow mode. But yeah, really scary stuff. Um, Goldengo is obviously just terrifying. Our Trick Room is really bad for me. Like, I technically have a Trick Room mode. But it's nowhere near as good as Hat Hariyama. So actually dealing with that is going to be an issue. Um, but even then, if they get off to the races in the fast mode, things could be quite bad as well. Because sure, I can say I have a rain. Um, but priority does not do as much as I would like here. Palafin doesn't get to do as much as I would like. Um just doesn't take out enough things even in rain and by the time it gets set up it's not gonna do enough um and sure i can have like a fast um Rednor, or they've got priority tailwind and i don't have fake out so yeah gonna be an issue so we've got a bit of an interesting let's start off with annihilate we're gonna talk about the lead here because the lead's pretty set in stone at least for game one Assault Vest Annihilate is really good into most things, um, mostly the TR stuff, but it's but combined with our other Pokemon, it also is pretty decent into the fast stuff. We've got enough speed to outspeed Rotom, um, and then just double Ghost, double uh, Dark with Terra Fighting. Um, I think Terra Fighting was just default, I didn't think about the Terra too much here. Um... But the main thing is the fact that we get to take a hit, uh, regardless of what it comes from. This also, I believe, makes it so we can take the Gold Ango hit as well. Like, a Gold Ango hit. Um, Gratius is really nice with the uh, with the Assault Vest, just because it means we're quite bulky. And then we got Drain Punch and Close Combat if we need to heal or if we need to do the big damage. Shadow Claw is unfortunately Annihilate's strongest Ghost-type move until, Rage Fist, until it at least gets one Rage Fist stack after getting hit by a move, so it's going to be pretty rough. Um, Defiance there, just in case. I don't. They don't have any Intimidate, so like that's not going to proc it. Um, but if um, if like they try and go for like Icy Wind, or like you know maybe they get a Spadef drop on Annihilate with Shadow Ball from uh, Goldengo, then I just get to plus two and start rolling things. So. Can't hurt, there's no reason for Vital Spirit, so we may as well have that. But combining with it is going to be Rotom Heat with Covert Cloak, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. We're just going to make sh give us ourselves the best odds of beating uh, Rotom Wash, especially because we're Terra Grass with Terra Blast. Alongside Thunderbolt, Overheat and Protect. The idea here is that no matter if they're physically defensive or specially defensive, Annihilate plus Rotom should be able to get the KO on Fake Out Trick Room from Hariyama Hatterene. Um, I believe uh, Annihilate should do anywhere from like 30 to 50% with Shadow Claw. Um, somewhere along those lines, maybe a bit more, uh, depending on if it's physically defensive or specially defensive. But whichever one it's invested in, the other one will be uh, weak enough where Rotom Heat will, uh, with uh, Overheat will be able to get the uh will be able to pick up the KO afterwards. Um with the covert cloak it means we've got to completely fake out immune lead so we can take out Truck Room and try and stop it going up before it get before it gets set up and then we've got our own we've got essentially a denied version of speed control. So 
Uh, the other thing as well is combining Rotom Heat with Annihilate means that we threaten Talonflame. So even if they want to lead Talonflame and try and go fast, we've got Rotom Heat already on the field ready to threaten it. Uh, Meow Skorada is also threatened by it, but also Annihilate threatens Me uh, Meow Skorada more than Meow Skorada threatens Annihilate realistically, so... Feel pretty good about this lead. It covers m most options, like Goldengo, sure. We've got two Pokemon that are faster than it, and if it's Scarf, then it's not dealing enough damage to, I think, KOE, unless it Terrors and maybe goes for a Terror Blast. Um, so I think this lead covers the most options that we can go for. Uh, alongside this, we've got Appleton. Um... Bringing it already, but I think it's pretty solid here. As a late game win condition, I think it's really, really solid. We can go for the iron defenses and body presses, as well as I want it regardless because it's my it's my grass type and that's the best way I'm going to actually have a killing Rotom Wash. We've got mostly specially defensive. I don't remember it. I made this team a bit ago, but I don't remember if I went for more specially defensive or physically defensive invested first. But it's probably to take at least a a, a couple dazzling gleams from Hadarim could see um maybe make sure it takes a brave bird from uh talon flame as well the chance it does that because we're able to run gluttony we've got the eye of papa berry so even at 50 percent health we'll get a uh we'll get a bit more hp recovery there's an argument to go for eager uh like protect and leftovers or something like that um but there's no telling how this game to go i'm just going to take the reliable 50 percent uh not 50 percent but like earth 33% HP I'm going to get from the Iapapapa Berry. So, uh, we can't go slow and then Hatterene, so I decided I just went with Minus Attack. So, yeah. Next up, Imprison Trick Room Gardevoir. We've got Telepathy and the Citrus Berry. Just because the Citrus Berry kind of didn't really have a place anywhere else. It's a bulky Gardevoir anyway, so we may as well have it. Um, I believe the special attack is just to make sure we get the KO on a Haxorus. Uh, I don't think we can get Hariyama with this. Uh, but just in case Trick Room becomes too much of an issue, we've got Imprisoned Trick Room. Moonblast sure won't stop the um, uh, Hattering going for Dazzling Gleams, but it will, you know, will stop the Trick Room and also stop it protecting while we're able to protect. Um, so, if, tr if for whatever reason this uh, Annihilate Rosen lead doesn't work, then we've got God of War to try and Imprison Trick Room and see if we can get that off instead. Next up, Life or Crocodile. Uh, again, outspeeding Rotom. Um, Earthquake, Stomping, Tantrum, Crunch, and Protect. Um, this, I believe, is mostly for Goldengo. Um, again, I made this team of, like a bit ago, so like Life or Crunch will definitely be getting Goldengo. Stomping Tantrum is just really nice. The coverage is really nice here. Um, and again, it's not faster than the fastest of things. But it's also not slow either. Like, it's still faster than Goldengo and Rotom, which is really, really nice. And sure, it doesn't do great into Meow Skorada, but, like, we've got a lot of other Pokemon that do pretty reasonably into Meow Skorada. We've got both Earthquake and Stomping Tantrum. I didn't really feel the need for Rock Slide or Stone Edge for the Talonflame. Um, Life Orb Crunch is still going to do a chunk, and if, it's gonna, and if Talonflame's coming, it's probably Sash. So... Um, I guess Sash Hat, but that was more of a thing in Gen 8 because there was enough things that would actually Oko Hat. Not really here, though. Um, but Life Orb Crunch will still do a ton. And we've got Earthquake and Stomping Tantrum because we do have a couple things we can Earthquake next to. We've got our God of War and we've got our Rotom Heat as well. But if we do need to go for the single target because we can't afford to protect or like we, we can be next to Annihilate and I don't really want a Life Orb Earthquake myself because that will hurt. So, you know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Crook's pretty decent anyway. Like, Intimidate Cycling can be pretty good if, like... Sure, it's not good against Meow Skorada, but, like, Haxorus or Hariyama. Or even Talonflame, just getting a bit of... Uh, like, if it's physical, then popping that thing's damage output while dealing some pretty good damage with uh, Crook is nice as well. And that's, last but not least, Mousehold. Uh, this does a few things for us. One, it gives us, like, a dedicated support option, because, like, nothing really is a support piece on this team other than, I guess, Guardi. Um... But with max speed, we've got max HP because we don't need the offense. Like, we're not running Population Bomb here. I just don't want to risk Population Bomb. I don't want to be like, all right, well, I need, like, I win the game if I get four hits of Population Bomb. And then I get two when I lose. I will I will never live that down. Uh, so I've just gone with the reliability of Super Fang. 
Um, we got the friend guard because this is more of a supporting set. Follow me, helping hand, encore, and uh, super fang. If we can catch something with an encore, it'd be really nice. Like if we get talon flame with the encore. Um, but if I just need the supporting option of follow me, we've got it. It also bluffs mouse hold annihilate, which is really really nice. So we've got that option as well. So. Just kind of having this dedicated support option, I felt like, was probably worth it. And because with Sash, like, we don't really need bulk anywhere. So I figured we may as well just, like, run a standard set. I just didn't really know what to do with Mousehold. I'm not sure if it's ever going to come, but it's just nice to have as the supporting option. So. Anyway. That's going to do it for the team. I'll see you guys for the battle. Wish me luck, because I'm definitely nervous for this one. All right. Time for the first match of SPS. I have not pulled up stuff in the calc because I am not really that prepared because it was a little earlier than I was expecting for our match. But uh, let's do it. <clears throat> I am both excited and nervous to see if this is going to work because... Um, <clears throat> Like, the bit where I talked about, like, I've got kind of a really solid lead <coughs> is there, but after that... <laughs> okay. Let's do this. I think I challenged the wrong thing. <clears throat> I sent the, the wrong thing. <clears throat> Okay, so they have both fast and slow modes. This is pretty much everything I was worried about. Alright, Jelly Chef. Annihilate Rotom. Now, what's best in the back here? <laughs> I think it's Croup Mousehold. Oh god, Appleton actually looks so good. <clears throat> Maybe it's Crook Appleton? Hmm. I like Crook Appleton.
try and set up for the Appleton win condition. Because since I was, I was originally going to bring Rain in the back, but then I just didn't like bringing Rain. <clears throat> just because Meow, Skorada, and Rotom do so well into it, and if it actually get their speed control off, then Rain becomes a lot less good. So... Uh, I just brought no rain. <laughs> They're gonna go Harry Armor hat. Yeah. So this should get the kill. <laughs> Let's. <clears throat> Fifty one percent and then my Rotom will do not enough. I'm timid. Okay, we do overheat them. Oh, that's so much better for me. Oh they do conceive. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Now, Hat doesn't get that, uh, doesn't get Moonblast. Yeah, the C was really good. I think we take out Hat. And we just switch into Krug. Gonna want Rotom around for this late game. <sighs> Even if I have to take that Dazzling Gleam. I actually let my Annihilate live, which is really nice. Do I want Annihilate for late game? I actually didn't do a lot of Terra types on my guys. Like, if I was Terra Ghost here, I'd be so much better off, because I could have Terra Ghost with the hat. I should have maybe thought about dropping my Appleton speed a bit as well, because it's probably min speed. Um, let's just protect. Okay, so they're ready for... I'm glad I brought Guardi then, because Guardi can do well for game two here. I can do Guardi Rotom. If we do Guardi Rotom, then... Well, they'll fake out. Yeah. <laughs> Take out Annihilate. <laughs> Appleton versus Ariyama. Adam at max attack. 50. Uh. Flame Orb. Guts. Close combat. At minus one. I think this is my Terastalize. Because I, I don't want to take too much damage from an Ice Punch. 
It may not have Ice Punch, but... Still not worth me taking. Let's... Switch back into Rotom, I think. Yeah, because if I do Guardy, then they just fake out Guardy. But I'm going pure grass. They go to Meowskarada. I get into Rotom Heat. They protect. Okay. I mean, they've got to show me fake out on that Meowskarada. So I'm going to protect. Not fake out. They've got to show me protect on the Meowskarada. Hmm. They do have it. That is their... Terror. Um, and they lose stab. They just lost stab as well. That's so big. So what we can do is we can go for an iron defense and then switch into crook. Load of damage output from the Hariyama. Try and find out who's faster. We got through the Trick Room, but the game's not over. I'm almost certain that their Rotom's going to be slower than mine. If they're bringing Trick Room... And they're probably not max speed Rotom, whereas I am. Hmm. They're really thinking because they know that this Appleton can win the game for uh, this Appleton can win the game for me because they didn't bring like I got rid of Hat and then they're left with Meow Skarada whose Flower Trick is resisted and doesn't do much damage otherwise Hariyama who's going to be their main physical damage output but I'm going to be getting my plus four here and then Rotom Wash who's probably not got anything for me they don't have a Terra left. I'm thinking about game two. Like, do I lead like Mouse Hold and Guardy? They're really thinking.
Oh, they seem to have crashed. That's why it's taking them so long. Huh. They said that a couple minutes ago. Well, pause it for a second and we'll see what happens. Okay, I think we're back. Oh, we so, okay, so I was thinking about it, and I think the game 2, I might try leading Meowth Garada and... Meowth Garada, I'm looking at Meowth Garada, Mouse Old Guardy, because what I can do is I can go for... Uh, I can go for Imprisoned Trick Room, and if they fake out Guardy, then I can taunt, and not taunt, I can encore the fake out and force the... Um, Force the hurry armor uh, to like. <laughs> uh, I can force the hurry armor on fake out, and then that will just waste turns of trick room. Um, and then I think I have Rotom Eat and Appleton in the back. Try and take it, try and take out the hat because I'll have Super Fang plus Moon Blast. Um, although in trick room it will be the opposite order, so. We'll have to see how that works. I've got Helping Hand. Helping Hand Moon Blast will do good damage. So that's that's a potential plan for game two. Uh, it's that or try and do the same thing. Um, oh, they're going for Fake Tears to try and set up on for, for Rotom Wash to kill. I see. So, this is Rotom Wash. Modest max special attack. Uh, I am only grass type, though. Minus six doesn't even kill. Minus six does not even kill. From a modest max special attack one, it would have to be a boosting item. My friggin' headphone wire. Great. Now my headphone wire is unplugged. Great. Because it got stuck on my, under my chair leg, so I'm not sure how the audio, audio is right now. Hopefully it's still fine. There we go. Now I can hear again. So... It was a hurry on my set. Because this would make it so much easier. Minus one. Flame orb. Oh, missile. Plus combat. 50. And I'm plus four defense. Okay. <laughs> I think if I body press the Meowth Garada now, then I'm fine. I'm gonna body press the Meowth Garada and T bolt the Harion. But they protect now. That's some good damage. Minus fours shouldn't do it. From what I'm looking at, my. Like, I, I looked at minus six.
How much does my Giga Drake do to Rotom Wash? Max HP one. I am Terra Grass. So, unless it's really specially defensive, Giga Drain will actually get it. Uh, so let's go for Giga Drain. And then I guess I'll just T-Bolt this. Yeah, unless it's super bulky, then I should live. I've got my berry, so even at minus four, even if it does way more than I expect, I've got the Aya Papa berry. Plus Giga Drain, like that should do good. Okay, they're looking to go for minus six, but I got the Giga Drain kill. They've got a fake out and a hit into me, but... How much does my body press do to hurry armor at this point? What a be a kill, right? I'm plus four. Yeah, plus four, de oh, plus four defense actually doesn't do that much into hurry armor. Give a flower trick. Yeah, that's just nothing. That was the fastest of zeros. Get my health back up. I am faster. It's really good to know. That means they are min speed. I get my upper I up 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 and then body press for the kill. Oh, they might have been thrown off by the DC in fairness, but I think Appleton at that point because I took down, uh, I took down Thingy. Um, I'm gonna make sure I got the replay now. Um. Um, I think they're getting a live battle link. I'm getting the live battle link. Okay, so I could lead the same again. I managed to neutralize the hurry armor. Or... See, I wonder if they just bring Goldengo just to make- and go for fast mode because of the, uh, thingy. I think I'm going to lead same again. I think I'm going to bring same four. Yeah, they went fast. I had a feeling they'd go fast, and this lead actually works so much better against fast mode. So... How much damage do I do to a gold angle with my Annihilate? If they're max HP, it's 59. Then no HP, 71. Uh, and I don't die to any single gold angle hit. So I should be able to get the kill on gold angle. It's Terra Electric. And it's Acro.
We do die. It's life orb. Okay, that's good to know. But now I've got a Crook in here. But oh boy, can Crook click EQ unimpeded. So it's no item Talon. But we get the... We get the thing there, and we get to take out that as well. Really nice. I assume it's Meowth Rotom in the back. It's Harry Armor Hat. Ooh. So they're gonna fake out. Probably fake out the crook. It means I can go into Appleton and just get a T-Bolt on the hat. I think they're just looking to fake out Trick Room here. So I'm gonna go into this and I'm just gonna T-Bolt the hat. Yeah, so they fake out there. I get to T-Bolt the hat for some decent damage, and we, tr and we see the Trick Room. Okay. We can also get a better idea on this hat set. Because I never really looked. 40% with T-Bolt. That's a min roll if they've got no special defense. They could have some special defense. So, I want to go back into Crook. Did I see Protect from the hat game one? I did not. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to risk just like going for Giga Drain plus thingy. So, I'm going to go for the... the pivot around a bit. Here's d -Lean. Crook does get to live. Rotom does not. <laughs> I haven't terrestrialized. So we probably Terra Grass here to try and make it so I don't die. Against my crook. Dazzling Gleam in doubles. 66 to 79, it did 72. So it's probably not invested. It's probably mostly defensive to make sure it can take the uh, thingy hit. <laughs> so to, to my Appleton with no dragon typing. It's doing nothing. It's doing zero. I can get an Iron Defense off. They're probably just going to be clicking Dazzling Gleam anyway. I'm going to protect just to make sure it's a single target one. I'm going to go for my Iron Defense. <gasps> no, I forgot to Terrestalize! Mmm. I forgot to Terrestalize. Don't kill. Oh, I forgot to Terra. I would have lived. Okay. Oh, 
A time... Oh, I don't know. I'm really tempted to just lead Appleton. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lead Mousehold Appleton. Um, Rotom and Crook in the back, I think. Yeah. This might be a throw. Or... Interesting. Not what I expected at all. How much does Life Orb make it rain do? I think I'm fine just going for follow me iron defense. I do have friend guard. I don't minus one. Be able to get an iron defense up. Then we can go into crook. Hmm. Does this kill? Very likely does. Loud trick won't ma uh won't care. Do I just EQ? No, I'm going to protect. And I think I'm going to click Iron Defense. No, because if they, if they go for... Uh, how much do I do to myself? I guess that's a good question. 19 to 23. Okay. With the berry, I should live. I'm going to go for EQ and recover. We outspeed, we actually get the kill, and then we get to recover. Huge. Really glad I went for that. This should be Flower Trick this time. There's no way it's not. I'm going to go to Rotom. I think a Terror. And I actually don't want to kill Meowskarada because it's Hariyama in the back. So we're going to switch, go into Rotom, take the flower trick. And then we come back in. We've got, we've got Rotom in, we've got some chip on the hat. We go Terra Grass, they go for another fake tears. This shouldn't be a kill. Goes for TR, okay.
But now it's like, why stay in? I've got Crook. And I know Crook can live. And I'm looking just to take down this hat. They're going to Hariyama now. They protect. <laughs> How much does Rotom do to Hariyama? Forty percent, not enough. Overheat's a roll in my favor. I go for it. Do I protect or do I just go for the EQ? I go for the EQ. I'm so glad I went for EQ. This is should do some really good damage. I would call that really good damage. If these two die, it's just Miascarada and it looks to be supportive. So they're going to Dazzling Gleam with uh, Hat. That's always a given. There's no reason for them not to. I'm going to Iron Defense here and I'm going to go for a Protect. Unless, what if it's more correct for me to do Giga Drain? Just take out the hat. No, but then I won't have any defense boosts. But does that matter? Does that matter at this point? What's Meow Scarada going to do? It can't. Meow Scarada can't do anything. Appleton versus the Hariyama at this point. Guts. Flame Orb. Adamant, max attack, close combat. A level 50, with no defense plus, does 81 to 95. I think regardless of what I do, it's over. I needed the Intimidate on it. I guess I... Wait, no, because I get the... I get the Eye of... No, I don't get the Eye of Apophar. I go for Giga Drain. I just have to go for it. And I go for Stomping Tantrum... Here, I guess. And they have helping hands. Oh! <laughs> GG's. That's so unfortunate. Oh. Oh, if I was one point slower on my Appleton. If I was one point slower on my Appleton, I would have been fine. Oh, I didn't think about that. I thought I wanted to be faster because I didn't expect to get into TR, but I should have... I should have thought about it more. Blech. Oh well, I didn't really prep as well as I would have liked to for this match, so I'm okay with that. Uh, GG's to Lemon. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.